Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And I'm so excited for today's bins haul. I have tons of things to share with you that I picked up in my recent trip to the bins. I did film a thrift with me for this trip, but there were so many pieces. We're gonna give you quite a few videos from it. I think I picked up 230 items in the bins. I paid $297 in total, which brought my cost of goods to $1.29 a piece. So every piece you're gonna see is $1.29 into it. So as long as I sell any of these pieces at all, I should be making money on each thing. So I have a big chunk of items here to the side of me, and I also don't pay attention to all the clothes behind me. Those need to be put away, but we're doing what we can. We're getting ready for Christmas and we're traveling, so I've been trying to really film ahead of time. So. This is going to be a fun video. I picked out some really cool things that I found in the bins. I am so excited. So let's jump into the haul, shall we? But first off, if you guys are new here, welcome. If you like thrifting content, give today's video a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button. That is very important. This piece I took a chance on. This is from Target, but this is one of their designer collabs. And when I saw this, I thought it was so pretty. And it turns out I only looked up comps now, right before the video. And it was a good pickup, so I'm very excited about this. This is this gorgeous orange. I would say it comes off a little red on camera, but it's definitely like a bright orange dress. It's got that drop waist, very drop. It actually is just a ruffle, <laughs> but it's in a size extra large. And this is from Christopher John Rogers for Target. Now, this is a really cool piece. I looked at some of the other pieces in this line and they were all amazing. Really bright pieces, lots of floof, lots of flounce and ruffles really cool designer looking pieces even at Target and this one I could just tell was so cute so I was actually looking and some of the pieces from this Target collab are selling for over like a hundred dollars but I'm thinking for this one since it's not as intense as some of the other ones I bet I can still get around forty dollars for this dress especially since it's in an extra large it's gorgeous and so I'm really happy that I picked that up and then we have just a little Lulu's top I love selling Lulu's it does really well for me in general and I normally just sell a lot of their dresses but I decided to give this a go for in the bins even though it's a top I still think I can sell it for probably around 20 bucks or if I take this straight to a buy sell trade store I can make like five bucks so it has this really cute little crossover back on it it's a little bit cropped and it's this gorgeous green ribbed fabric this is from Lulu's it's in a size extra small so I grabbed that and again I'm expecting probably like around 15 to 20 for that but for spending a dollar, I'm still happy with that, I would say. And then we have this really fun Fair Isle knit piece. I love the colors of this. It's very unique. It's like lemon yellow and greens and blues. It's really fun. But this is from J. Jill. And I really do like selling J. Jill. It doesn't usually resell for tons of money. But if I find it in the bins, I'm definitely going to pick it up. This is in gorgeous condition. It's in a size medium. And I did pick this up too because so it's 52% acrylic. 29% wool, 11% nylon, and then 8% Angora rabbit hair. So this is a rabbit hair and wool blend Fair Isle knit sweater. And a size medium from JGL is really good. I love the color scheme. I think this is actually going to do really well. Now that I know it's Angora rabbit hair and wool, I probably can list this around 50 bucks. So I'm expecting probably to make 35 to 50 on that, but that's a really unique piece. So I think that that should do well. And then, oh my gosh, I was absolutely shocked to find this. Um, I've mentioned before, my bins are so incredibly interesting. They will kick everyone out of the store in between their rounds. So at every like two or three hours at my store, they completely kick everyone out and then they flip the store. So I'm always the last person to leave and they always are like literally yelling at me and kicking me out. But <laughs> after their last flip of the day, after everyone had gone through everything, I found this coat, which I think is so beautiful. And I'm shocked that it was left there. This is so nice. So look at this. It is this like hunter green, really nice puffer coat. It has the interior like fabric for the arm. It's got the Sherpa on the inside of the hood. This is an excellent condition. And guys, this is from J. Crew. Like what was happening in the bins this day? I'm so confused. From J. Crew. This is in a size extra small. Like, I wish it was a bigger size, but man, this is still amazing. I love the color. The zipper works great. I definitely double checked because I've been burned by zippers so many times. Then the inside is this gorgeous quilted, like, pink color. 
it's so nice the filling is polyester so like if it was duck down it would probably be more expensive but even so i think for a really nice long coat like this it's not a jacket it's definitely a winter coat i think i can probably list it around 75 to 100 dollars and probably get like 50 bucks for this maybe more it's really nice and in great condition so i was absolutely shocked that i found that and so like that piece was definitely pretty heavy my bins are a dollar 49 per pound that's how much i pay that piece definitely cost me more than $1.29, but with the average cost of goods, it really did even out, and that's gonna be really good for that coat, for sure. And then, next up, we have, I think this is one of the only, like, kid baby pieces I picked up. I don't normally pick up a lot of kids' stuff, just because I don't know a ton, but this piece, I knew when I saw it that I, um, I knew the, I knew the brand, so I picked it up. It's one of those little, like, sleepers, um, you know, where it, what are these called? Oh my. Mm, I forget what these are called, but it's what they sleep in. It's nice and, like, it doesn't open at the bottom, so they don't, when they kick, it won't startle them awake. This is a quilted, wow, the name of this is really gonna bug me, but you know what I'm talking about. This is also from Hannah Anderson, and I know Hannah Anderson is a good brand to know in the kids reselling field, so when I found this in the bins, even though, I don't know how much of these particular like swaddly kind of things are worth it's a medium six to 18 months and the inside is so soft there's no stains it's in great condition so I decided to grab it so I mean if I can sell this for around $25 I'd be really excited about that and then let's pull something that I'm really excited about I actually just showed these in a short I was so happy to find some anthropology in the bins I found so much Lululemon and anthropology this day, which normally does not happen for me. Like I'm more inclined to find anthropology than Lululemon, but this is like a newer anthropology piece, which I don't find new pieces that often. Look how cute these little like culotte pants are. I love the color and they are wide leg, high waisted, stretchy waistband, gorgeous red color. And these are from the Saturday Sunday brand. They're in a size medium. There's the brand tag. They're in such good condition. I think these are so comfy looking, but also like you can wear these and elevate them. I love the color. I think they're super cool. And I could tell from the feel that they were nice. They're 100% Lyocell, which is a really nice fabric. And they are so freaking cute. I don't have the date on the inside tag, but I believe that these are probably from 2020 or newer. They're like in really good condition, a newer style, adorable piece. And the same with these. I found these in the same bin. These are also from Anthropology. The same kind of style where it's like a culotte and it's really cute. These green pants. They have the wide leg. And I love the patch pockets here on the front. These are stretchy. Like they look like they would be rigid, but they're very nice and stretchy. Really high quality fabric again. And that's what they look like. These ones are just by Anthropology, and they are in a US size 8 petite. So this is what the tag looks like on these by Anthropology. Newer tag from them, really good condition. They feel impeccable. I think that I can sell both pairs of these pants. I'll probably list both of them for around 50 bucks. And I'd be surprised if I got less than 35 for those. And then guys, I am so happy with this piece. I found this at the end of the whole day of thrifting. I was literally there for seven hours. It was a lot of thrifting. I am obsessed with this sweater and I think it's so cool. I hope you guys like it too. Guys, look at this fruit knit sweater I found. Is this not the most amazing, unique thing you've ever seen? I'm obsessed. There's bananas, there's apples, there's cherries. Like, can you handle it? I don't know if I can handle it. And the best part about this too, so let me tell you this. It's knitted by hand by Jennifer Reed. It's vintage, it's, it's a mixture of rain meat and cotton in a size medium. But then look here, up at the shoulder, it has buttons but the buttons are literally pears. They're pear buttons. <laughs> I don't know why it's so cool. It is though, it really is. So then here on the back, I think we have a, like an apple maybe. There's a couple more fruits on the back. It does have a mark on the back, like a little like discoloration. So I'm gonna try to get that out with some stain treatment. But honestly, I think I can sell this for $75. <laughs> I really do. I've sold so many amazing knit pieces like this that are super unique. And they tend to sell like 50 to 75, maybe sometimes $100 for me. It's because they're unique. They're like one of a kind, one off finds. So that is a really good find. And let me know what you think of the pair buttons. I just think those are so cool. And then we have this piece. When I found this, I felt it and it felt so nice. 
Um, and then I didn't see a tag on the inside. I did see the brand on the back though. So this is from Lucy. And Lucy is a pretty good brand. I've never resold it because the only time I found it, it was marked up at my local Goodwill. So I wasn't going to pay like $10 to resell it. I think that for this like kind of jacket, I probably can resell this around $35. Maybe a little bit more honestly because it is black. It's a really nice style of jacket. It reminds me of the Lululemon style of jackets too. Now they have cut out the inside tag down here on the bottom. I don't know if this helps with the sizing. It just has one little line. I hope that means something with the size because otherwise I don't know how to find a size on this. I would say from looking at it, it looks like a women's size, either small or medium. So I might just have to figure out like the measurements, but if you guys know where to find sizing on Lucy products, let me know. I don't know if they kind of have the size hack like the Lululemon pieces do, but if you know, <laughs> let me know. I think that piece is really nice though and it's in great condition. I love selling active wear, it's so good. But then we have another piece that I put in my YouTube short and it is this little bodysuit, which I was again, so excited to find. Look at the details, it's like a bustier lace bodysuit with a thong and this is from super down so super down is sold at revolve it's a really cute piece it's a really nice brand and i've tended to sell pieces from it for around like 50 bucks a piece now this is it looks to me like it's brand new especially because it still has the hygiene tag on the bottom here oh and it does have snaps so that's really helpful so it does have the tags still on there. It doesn't have any tags attached, but I will probably list this as new without tags. It's 70% cotton, 30% nylon, and then it has little tie straps at the top. So I think that's really cute, and it is in a size small. Super down stuff, I feel like tends to run a little bit small usually, so a small looks pretty accurate, maybe an extra small, and then we have a zipper down the back as well. So really cute piece. I'm expecting, since it's a bodysuit, not to sell it for as much as I would like a dress. So maybe 20, $25 for that. And then let's do a few of the pairs of shoes, eh? I have so many shoes and I haven't shown you any yet. So this first pair, is a pair of Vans and I don't, I cannot tell you if I've ever picked up a pair of Vans, but these ones were such a cute color. They're brown and I tell you, I think that these are brand spanking new. Look at the bottoms of these. There's no wear like anywhere on them. They look like they're in excellent condition. I think I can probably resell these for around 20 bucks maybe. I've never sold a pair of Vans. Isn't that crazy? It's just they always get marked up. People are always marking these up at the thrift store to like $35 and that's not gonna work for me. So these are a size five in men or six and a half in women. So I'm definitely gonna list them as a women's six and a half. But for in the bins for $1.29, I'll take it, you know? So I grabbed those, probably 25, that's what we're gonna hope for, for those. And then I also found this really cute pair of Talbot's shoes. And you guys know I've been really kind of enjoying picking up Talbot's, figuring out what the Talbot's resale situation looks like. I've sold a lot of dresses, but I thought it'd be fun to pick up a pair of shoes and see what I can get for these. These are in a size seven, and I really like these little like, kind of like a folded bow. Like they look really interesting. They're in great shape. And they are really cute. There's a little bit of wear on the bottom, but I still think they're in great shape. And these are really cute for like the holiday season. So I thought those were sweet. And these are a black suede. It feels like real leather. So really high quality. Let's look here. Yep. Genuine leather upper. Super cute. I think that I should be able to get around 30 for those. Oh, and then we have this piece. This is really cute. And I'm glad it still has the pull tag on it. This is a Fabletics top. And I do do pass on a lot of Fabletics, but I've done pretty well with their like sweaters and sweatshirts and like cardigans. So when I saw this really cute cream colored V-neck sweatshirt, it has this interesting kind of asymmetrical hem on the bottom. When I saw this, when I saw this, I decided to grab it. It is in a size medium and it feels really nice. And it's so squishy, like the inside, let me see if I can show you the texture here. The inside is so soft, so I knew this was a high quality piece. It just looks like a really fun piece. So I think I can probably resell this around 25, 35 bucks. So I will count that as a win, especially since I paid $1.29 per item. Then next up, I was really happy when I finally found the second one of these. You know when you're looking in the bins for shoes, it's like a mass triumph if you can find the one that matches. At least at my Goodwill outlet, they're not always together at all. And so I found one in one bin and one in a different bin, and that is a true win. 
look at these adorable slippers are these not so cute i love the sheep these are so precious look at how adorable those are i am obsessed with the sheep i think it's so sweet they're this white fluffy probably sheep fur to be honest and they are so nice these are from ll bean and i really enjoy selling ll bean i've been getting more and more into it i don't even know if you can see the ll bean logo in the middle there but they're in great shape and i really feel like they've hardly been used i like that they have a hard bottom and these are a women's size 8 medium and i really wish these were one size bigger because i would love to keep these i think these are so precious i love them so i think for these i can probably resell them around 35 dollars maybe 40 and they're so precious i think they're so cute so really happy that i found those so then we have one two more pairs of shoes and these were a good find too these ones were actually tied together which i'm very thankful for but these are a pair of ugg kind of booties which i thought were very interesting they do have some weird to them but i do have my doc martin wonder balsam so i'm gonna massage that into this leather and i think it's gonna really turn it around then it has the sheepskin the fur on the inside and these are in really pretty good condition the leather needs some work but the soles themselves are really good and these are like hefty boots they're really nice they're kind of like a chukka style and they are a size 7. So European 38 and a half. So a women's size 7. And I just think that they are very interesting. They have kind of like a wider toe bed. And they're really nice. So I'm going to work on those. And then hopefully I can probably resell these around 50 bucks, Maybe a little bit more. If I can get that leather looking good. So then we have a pair of Lululemon pants. And I'm so excited about these. These are very interesting. I think these might be an older style. They have the flare to the leg. And then they have this interesting crossover detail going on on the top here. And they do have the Lululemon logo. This is how I found them. Well, I found them by feel because I know Lululemon when I feel it. But then here is the only logo on these is down here on the leg because the interior tag has been ripped out. And then I found the size dot in here somewhere. So give me a second while I look for it. Ah, there we go. So this is a size dot that doesn't have any words around or any letters around. So it's an older style. It's a size eight. So these are a size eight pair of pants. I can do a reverse image search and try to find information on them. But honestly, they're in excellent condition. Like in between the legs looks really, really good. There's not a lot of like pilling or anything. I think for these, I can probably get somewhere around 35 to 50 bucks. So that was a great find. And then let's talk about this pile because this pile is all the exact same brand. And I was absolutely stunned to find so many of these pieces in one bin. Somebody had grabbed a bag. Everybody was grabbing bags this day. If there are any donations, they usually come in trash bags. And then my Goodwill Outlet people, they don't empty those trash bags. So you can get fresh donations directly in the bins, but people run for them. So somebody had emptied this and didn't want any of these. And then I stumbled across that bin and I was just like pulling pieces out, throwing them in my cart like crazy because this is good stuff, guys. I am so excited about this. These are a whole collection of Bonobos pieces, like workwear pieces. So here's the first one. I sold a few pieces for around 35 to 50 bucks. So this is a Bonobos, I could be totally butchering that, just bear with me here. It's their wrinkle-free shirt in the standard fit. It's a size 16, I think that's the neck, right? And then 35. So this is like a light blue button-up shirt. Really nice, really good condition and recently dry cleaned as well so you never know something could have been left at the dry cleaners um it would have been a lot of things in this case but it's a possibility someone could have passed away there's a lot of things that go into this but this is the first of many pieces i grabbed so i'm expecting for that to sell at around 30 bucks then we have this pair of pants these are a pair of brown pants from Bonobos, these are all gonna be from Bonobos, in the Thursday style, size 33 slash 32. We have a gray pair in the Wednesday style, 34, 34, that's what they look like. I'm just gonna quickly run through all of these. These are more of like a casual pair, more like a blue, kind of like, not denim, but what is a chino style? These ones are in a 35, 34. So these are all in a very similar size, but they're not all the exact same size, which is a little hard for bundling. But these are a nice, another pair of blue pants. And these are more of like um, a little bit thinner of the chino style, 34, 34. 
a dark charcoaly, like a really dark brown on these ones. And these ones are the Monday in a 3534. Ooh, these ones are, it says athletic style, 3332. And these are more of like that chino style and a really nice brown color, which I really like that brown actually. And then we have, guys, this is crazy, right? And then I have a pair of Friday pants in the straight leg. And these are in a 3332. And then, guys, I can't make this stuff up. I have a light blue pair in the Wednesday style and a 3334 athletic style. Look at those. Oh my gosh. Come, somebody could just like start a whole new golfing wardrobe with those, you know? So I found all of those. So I think I have eight or nine pairs of pants, that shirt, and actually there was another shirt, but I saved that for Jeremy. So like, I got a lot of those pieces. I found every single one in that bin and I grabbed it because I know that these won't sell for tons of money, but these are nice workwear pieces, really expensive menswear pieces. So I grabbed them. I'm gonna show you the brand one more time. So if you see this, you can look up the comps at least. For each pair of these pants, I'm expecting to sell them for around 35 to 50 bucks. So for each one of those, 35 to 50 bucks, 10 pairs, that's maybe $350 of profit right there. Like, that's so good. And that was so exciting. Like, I was not finding much that round, and then I stumbled across that bin, and I was like, oh, okay, I can deal with this. I can, I can roll with it, can't I? <laughs> so those were an exciting find. And then we have another pair of Lululemon leggings, and these are a really unique style. I've not seen this print before. I mean, not the style, the print is unique. This is like a capri length. I'm assuming this is probably either the 23, I think it's the 23 length. And these are from Lululemon, and they still have the pull tag. I wonder if these are from the same person. They might have been. These are also a size eight, and these also, I did check on the inside for the size dot, and they have one, but it also does not have the letters and the style number around it. So this one is also an older style, but that actually can be helpful for some Lululemon pieces. So I'm expecting hopefully like maybe 50 bucks for those. That could be really good. You never know. So I was excited about that. And then we have one more J. Crew piece. Look at this. This is a J. Crew nice little pea coat. This is so pretty this gorgeous camel color and this is in a size medium and it's 75% wool and 23% nylon 2% other fibers which is really interesting but so this is mostly wool it's this wool pea coat it's a gorgeous piece it's in great shape a great color and I love selling wool pieces I sold quite a few wool coats from J. Crew and other similar brands for probably around $50 to $75. So again, for that piece, I'm hoping and expecting the same amount. And I, I just can't believe that this was left. I think I found this in the same bin as the size extra small green J. Crew piece. So crazy, right? I cannot believe it. Now we have a few more pieces here and very exciting finds to come. This is a pair of Ugg boots. I enjoy selling Ugg boots. They move for me really well usually. These are a gray pair and they have the little button on the side with a little closure. These are really cute and I do think this is the right time of year to try to be selling them. So these are genuine leather, genuine sheepskin lining, and these are a women's size eight. The Bailey Button, thank you for telling me the style. They're the Bailey Button Ugg boot in a women's size eight. They look like they're in pretty good condition. There's not a ton of wear to them. So I think for these, I can get around maybe 35 to 40 bucks. But again, I spent $1.29 on each piece. And then the last piece of clothing before I show you this fun bag is this one, which is another really exciting find. One of my favorite brands to resell in the world. And that is Eileen Fisher. Let me show you what this looks like. It is this really beautiful cardigan. It's a very interesting shape to it. It's a little bit of like a short cocoon style. And then it has this ribbing to it as well. And then it has this kind of fold over around the opening. Really beautiful piece. And this is what it looks like from the back. It's a gorgeous piece. I love Eileen Fisher. This is in a size large, which is excellent. And I've sold a lot of Eileen Fisher on Poshmark and on eBay. And usually for $50 to $75 is what I usually make. Oh, I was wrong. This isn't 100% cotton. It's 75% silk, 25% cotton. Okay, that raises the value. I'll probably list this around $75 for a silk blend cardigan. Love it. Although it does definitely read more cottony, but it's a really nice feeling fabric. So hopefully we'll make 
at least 50 bucks on that. And then my very last items here are stuffed pieces, which I was kind of excited to find so many cute little stuffed items. I've been wanting to get a little bit more into like toys and things like that. It's kind of fun to sell them. The first thing I found was a Squishmallow, which I was excited to find. These were all in a donation bag. So nobody else had grabbed them. This is Evie and she is from 912 2020. So I'm not exactly sure what she is, but she's really cute. And I'm assuming I can probably sell her for like 15 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Then we have B Max from Big Hero 6. And it is a Disney piece. It has the Disney logo on the side here. And I just thought he was so cute. So I'm expecting to probably put him up on my Poshmark, maybe on my eBay as well. And then maybe make again, like maybe 15 bucks for him. And then this one is from Disneyland from Walt Disney World. Look how cute he is. He's kind of like a beanie baby kind of style. Like it feels like it has those little like pieces in it. Does that make sense from the sound and the feel? And this is Pluto, right? So cute. <laughs> I'm hoping after I look up comps, I might have to do like a reverse image search. Maybe he's worth something more, who knows? So it does say on the tag, Disneyland and Walt Disney World. I thought he was cute. Couldn't leave him for a buck. I was like, yes. Then we have a Goofy doll, and he's pretty cute too. He also has a Disney tag on him. I thought that was cute. Again, hopefully like 15 bucks is what I'm expecting for those. And then we have three, then we have four more pieces. Now, this one is really good. We're gonna hope that I can wash him. These three are, I've never seen these. These are apparently our Squishmallows too. These are mini Squishmallows. Ah! These are like mini Squishmallows. They're so squishy, so like cute and really adorable. We have two little cows right there. <laughs> I have no idea what those are worth. Maybe I will just, I don't know, maybe I'll just sell them as a set for like a few bucks. Maybe I can make $10 off of a set of three of these. I don't know. I'm excited to do some research though. Isn't that what this is all about? Then the very last piece is this, which is actually kind of exciting actually a good find and this is a vintage cabbage patch doll so when I saw this I know that because I know that some cabbage patch dolls are worth good money I just knew that already so when I found him in the bins I grabbed him put him in my cart and I decided to look up comps while I was in line to decide if he was worth getting because he does have some like wear to him he's not in perfect condition his arm is a little dirty his leg is a little dirty you know he's not great condition but these dolls apparently can sell for good money. There was one listed in this exact style. He's like the little baby sailor or something for a thousand dollars listed at a thousand dollars for this. Like crazy, right? I saw quite a few that were like actually selling around 50 to $80. So I'm not sure about the condition of mine versus theirs, but I am really excited to give it a whirl to maybe try to clean him and then get him in pristine selling condition and he's from 1982. So a vintage Cabbage Patch doll, something to be on the lookout for. Mostly we had clothes here today. We did have a few little fun um, Disney pieces and Cabbage Patch dolls here at the end. Super fun haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these pieces that I grabbed at the bins for so cheap that I'm planning to resell for good money on my Poshmark and eBay. I am so happy to have you guys here. Let me know in the comments down below which piece was your favorite, but I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video, bye.